Did you know that Light Tracer Render has physical simulations? Let's take a closer look at this feature. In the left-hand panel, you'll find the Physics Simulation widget. Each object in the scene can have one of three types of physics interaction. Disable, the object is not involved in collision detection. Static, a static obstacle for dynamic bodies. Dynamic, a dynamic body that reacts to forces and collisions. By default, objects are set to static. To make our ring fall, switch its physics type to dynamic. This unlocks new parameters. Shape accuracy, the collision hole that wraps the 3D model. The higher the value, the more accurate the hole and the simulation. For complex objects with holes, increase the value. For simple objects, the default value is sufficient. Keep in mind that higher values increase simulation time. Friction factor, the amount of friction force between two bodies. Bouncing factor, the elasticity of collisions, ranging from perfectly elastic to perfectly inelastic. Gravity factor, gravitational force in the simulated physics world. Recording time, the maximum duration of the simulation. You can simply drop an object to make it settle correctly on a surface. To do this, press run and move the object in the scene. To record the animation, press record. Once recorded, the animation will appear in the Baked Animations tab in the right panel. Add it to the timeline and you're ready to render a video. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on new tutorial videos.